stage manager is actually one of the more strenuous. Um, you have to be there from auditions to all the rehearsals through Tech Week. And as soon as Tech Week is over, the show is mine. Like, it's my job to keep the artistic integrity of the show. You have that creative freedom. It's like your character's drunk, you know, there's all this fun stuff that comes with that. You know, you finally can do an accent, this, this Texas hick. It's so easy to get drowned into this character just because you're just, you're having so much fun on stage. He is honestly my favorite character I've ever played. Miller Auditorium was uh, closed in 2000. Well, due to we got a renovation plan that was approved by the state in 2012. So we, we vacated that building so they can prep for uh, renovation. And actually just recently we learned that the plans had fallen through. So we've been in this space temporarily till that was done. Now it's a permanent temporary space. Everything you'll see um, is not a permanent solution. We were supposed to be here for a temporary basis, and so everything here uh, was just temporary. So the curtains hanging from the ceiling, temporary. Our dressing rooms are converted conference rooms. Like, mm. We make do with what we have. <laughs> so we have full scene shopping there. Back there we have welding equipment. It serves its purpose and it's actually used, it does it fairly effectively. Down here, which is in the old Rockies. Each of these windows in here had its own different food, but now completely converted into our costume shop. So all the costumes that we build and store come from there. This is the main room where we uh, this is where we stack all of the props that are going to be used. This is where the sound and the lighting and everything, um, the stage manager sits here and makes sure that everything's going according to plan. The girls are in the first show, the guys are in the second mm -hmm. show, so there's no overlap amongst the actors. Um, the male actors in Lone Star that are in front of Angel's Bar you ne never get to act in front of the house, so it's a completely different space to each, mm -hmm. to each of them. So there's really no difference. It's, it's two completely different shows, but yeah. they're tied together through general themes. Yeah, the actors, I mean, they all make their own space, so there's no real challenge with each individual set. It's its, its own.